plant-based barbecue. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're still continuing our walk here. And now I'm actually coming around on the bend right here. I'm going to talk about one of the uh, one of the biggest successes I had um, in my weight loss journey. Um, you'll find come to find out when you're losing weight and you're trying to overcome diseases, things like that, that you're always getting these little wins. There's a lot of little wins along the way um, that are great and you can reward yourselves. But then there's these also these huge wins that are like, wow, I like I really did this. And one of the things, one of the biggest wins I ever had, I'm going to show you about right on this video because it was so huge for me. Um, as most of you guys know, I am a huge advocate of childhood obesity. Childhood obesity is one of my, uh, one of the major things that, that, that I'm an advocate for. So, um, childhood obesity to me is, is hits so close to home because um, I was overweight my whole life. I was an obese child. Um, I was a very high level athlete, but I was a fat, overweight, high level athlete. From the time I was eight years old until just about, you know, a year ago, I was obese. I was overweight. Um, I, you know, I had a lot of uh, obesity issues. And one of the things growing up that I never wanted to do was I never wanted to go swimming with my friends. I never wanted to go to the lake. I never wanted to go to the beach. I never wanted to do anything that involved taking my shirt off, right? Because I was just embarrassed of myself. I was embarrassed of my body. I felt like that um, it was a self-conscious issue. Um, and still to this day, I'm. I, a lot of you guys know me. You know that I'm. I, I don't walk around with um, with tank tops on, showing off my muscles. Although I do have some pretty nice ones now. I don't walk around showing my muscles off. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not against that. I have some great friends that are that are huge weightlifters and bodybuilders and stuff like that. And that's great. That's them. That's not me. I'm a normal 45 year old programmer that likes to cook and smoke barbecue. That's what I like to do, right? But but I had this self-conscious issue my whole life. And although I love the beach, the beach is one of my, the mountains and the beach are my two, um, where I want to be the rest of my life. Um, I would always go to the beach and I would leave my shirt on or I would not want to go to the pool with my friends because because um, I didn't want to take my shirt off, particularly at, like in high school and middle school and things like that because girls were going to be there, right? So I definitely didn't want to show my obesity and my weight to girls or to women and things like that. And some people can overcome that and say, you know what, I don't care what I look like and that's great. I, I, I so wish I was like that, but I wasn't. Um, I really did have a, a, an, an issue with this. So along this journey, um, like I said, I'm always wearing, you know, clothes and covering up. That's just kind of how I was raised and how I grew up. It doesn't mean it's right or wrong. Like if guys want to walk around in Speedos, that's great with me. That's fine. You know, Ken wears a Speedo around all the time, right? So if you want to do that, that's, I'm not, that's, I'm not putting you down. I'm not saying what's right or wrong. None of that. I'm talking about what me, how I felt inside growing up. This is since I was about, like I said, about eight years old when I started feeling this, but there came to be a time during along this journey. And you'll notice we're in front of our neighborhood pool here. And this is, place was very significant in this journey because this is where I overcame a huge win. So there came a time in my journey, I was 120 pounds down. Um, I had started kind of doing resistance weights some resistance weight stuff after I lost all the weight. I was starting to see some definition. I was starting to see some definition in my body and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Like I have made, this is amazing. I've made progress and my mental shift kind of started changing a little bit. I didn't want to put my Speedo on and come to the pool. That's not what I'm saying, right? But what I did do is there was one day to where I woke up and I said, what do you want to do today, honey, to Jen? And she said, let's go to the pool. Let's go hang out. Let's, um, it's going to be a beautiful day. And it's not a, you can tell the pool's covered right now. This would probably be a lot better if it was, uh, in the summer and the pool was open, right? As you can see right here, the pool's covered up right here. It was a beautiful day. Uh, we went up and and uh, we got some drinks. I really love to do like um, like cranberry and like um, tonic water. Like di I do diet tonic water sometimes, club soda, stuff like that. 
and we like to bring it up to the pool. And over there, if you can see on the far end of the pool over there, there's some grills over there. I don't know if you can see them or not. But we bring stuff up here. Like, like I've done a plant-based barbecue right at this pool before. So, um, and it smells amazing. So when I'm up here, so we brought some food up here. I think it was sweet potato burn ends we did that day. Um, I had smoked them and then we finished them on the grill over here. But we came up here to the pool and there's usually uh, a lot of like lawn chairs and pool chairs and stuff like that sitting around the pool and people everywhere. I mean, this pool gets packed. Like I'm talking packed. You literally can't get a seat. We always come up early because we need to reserve our seat, right? And we'll put our towel down. I know we're one of those people. We reserve the seats with the towel that everybody hates, right? No, everybody does that in our neighborhood though. So we reserve two um, seats and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's like some, um, like a, uh, I don't know if you call that a trellis or whatever right there. It's like some shady area. And there was two chairs sitting right under that, right in that spot. And we went and sat down there that day. And the pool was packed. It was the day before, I think it was the day before um, uh, a major holiday. I think it was um, in uh, Memorial Day. I think it was the day before Memorial Day when this happened. And the pool was packed. There was people everywhere, people in their bikinis, People in their speed, not speedos, but people in, you know, guys that look nice walking around in their shirts and, and everything in between, you know. And so we sat down that day and we started talking like we like we do. Jen and I started reflecting upon where we had come this year, like like all all the weight that I've lost. It's not just about weight, all the, the lifestyle change that we had made. We were I was on a diet. It was a diet at first because I really had to lose a lot of weight and I had liver disease and hypertension, a lot of really nasty stuff. So it was a diet, but then we started reflecting upon how far we had come and the lifestyle change and how kind of your, our mental attitude has changed. And something hit me that day. I said, you know what? I, I'm gonna take my shirt off and I'm gonna lay here and I'm gonna go get in the pool without my shirt on. Mind you, I'm 40 at the time. I'm. 45 years old now. It was May. So I just turned 45. I started my journey when I was 44, just turned 45. And in 45 years of my life, I had never been to a swimming pool, a lake, or any place and taken my shirt off in public, ever. And I said, you know what? Today's the day. I'm going to take my shirt off. I'm not going to do it right now for you, Ken. I haven't done it since. But I'm going to take my shirt off and I'm going to lay. And I did. I took my shirt off and I laid there and my wife was sitting there and my wife just was like in tears because she was like, honey, I am so proud of you. Like, I'm so proud of you. She's like, you look amazing. You look sexy. Like, you know, you were always amazing and sexy to me before, she said to me. Um, and she talks a lot about this in, in, the, in my book. Um, she said, you're always amazing and sexy to me, but you are, you know, your, your new body's sexy. You look great. Um, I'm so proud of you. Um, not because you're sitting here with your shirt on, but this is just because you've overcome so much. And we just sat there and reflected me in my shorts, with no shirt on. I haven't done it since. Cause I'm just, that's just not me. I'm a mountain man. I'm like, I'm a mountain man. I like to ski. I like to be covered. Like I like blankets over me when I sit around at home. I like to put like five blankets over me and sit in front of the fire. I just like to be covered all the time, right? That's just how I kind of how I grew up. Doesn't mean it's right or wrong. But then I, I got up from that spot over here at, at the pool and I walked up and I walked from there. I walked all the way around the pool. I didn't just go. And now I had been in the pool before, obviously, but I'd always wore like a swim shirt and I was always had a hat on and was trying to be unnoticeable. Hopefully nobody would look at me because I always felt like when I got in the pool, people were going, look at that. Look at that. Look, the fat guy's in the pool, right? I mean, that's how I felt, right? That's how I felt every time I was in the pool or like, look at that guy. He's so fat. He has to wear a shirt to get in the pool, right? Or whatever. Um, and I always felt, even though people I know weren't probably doing that, I still felt like it. So I got up with no shirt on. I walked all the way around the pool. And again, it was packed. There were people everywhere around all the way to the other side, kind of over there on the front of the pool. I walked in, I got in the pool for the first time in my life. And I walked all the way through the pool. I swam all the way to the end right here. It was beautiful, right? And it was, it was such a happy time in my life. I got out of the pool. Um, 
went and got my towel, dried off like a normal person, you know, looked around a little bit, and I said, you know what? This is something. Like, this is, this is a huge win for me. This is, these are what we're going for. And I don't know what a huge win is going to be for you and your journey, but things like that are, are amazing when you overcome them. Again, you're going to have small wins along the way, but I was able to do that that day. And I, again, I went back, I sat down, I put my shirt back on, by the way. I didn't sit there the rest of the day. I put my shirt back on. I've been back to the pool multiple times and with my, I've kept a shirt on. I just, that's just kind of the way I am. Um, but that was a huge win for me. And this is really the first time I've ever talked about it. But when you're on a journey, you're going to have these really bad days, but you're all going to have these days to where it's like, wow, like that is amazing. I overcame that or in, 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 not just in weight loss, but in business. Like I've had a few of those wins in business. Like I sold one, uh, I sold one of the businesses I built for a lot of money. And the day like the check came and I actually saw it like the, and when I say check, it wasn't a physical check. I saw the actual amount that was deposited into my bank account after all was said and done, all the lawyers were paid, everything happened. I saw the amount of money that was deposited into my checking account. I'm like, wow, that's a like that's that's what I've been doing. That's a huge win for me, right? That was a monetary win. But that moment when there was a lot of zeros that were going into my bank account, that moment was big for me in business. But I have to say that moment that I took my shirt off in this pool was 10 times more powerful to me in my heart and in my life than that time when I deposited that huge amount of money into my into my checking account. That time when I just simply took my shirt off at the pool was a huge win for me. So I hope you I hope this um, hits home for some of you guys. Again, I wanted to get out of the kitchen. I wanted to show you that I'm out here actually doing this all the time. And I hope that um, I hope that my message resonates for you. If it resonates with just one person, it's worth my time. It's worth it's worth all the time that that Ken takes that, that we all take to to put these videos together. So. Um, I'm going to sign off now and I uh, hope you have a great day and uh, we'll talk to you soon.